Hey everybody, today is Tuesday, January 18th. Uh, today <laughs> is the day that I actually get my flanks revised, uh, which is I, the love handles. This is, I guess, the final, final uh, step to having uh, my revision surgery um, on my tummy tuck area. They couldn't get to it the last time around, which was exactly nine months ago. Uh, because of my infections, my potential fatal infections, so they wasn't able to correct my sides. So how am I feeling? I'm excited and nervous at the same time. Um, I'm excited because again, this is the last step um, to uh, you know being the way that I wanted to be. You know, um, having the results that I finally want to have. Um, and nervous because I am not going under. We're doing this procedure at his office and they're just using Novocaine so I'm not too sure how it's going to go. And I actually don't even know exactly like the steps they're taking uh, in order to do it. You know, um, they're saying that it's a 20 minute procedure. Um, so I'm not too sure how, how it's going to go. Um, but it's an ugly day today. You want to check? Look, it's like snowing and raining and it's like well, slush outside and it's horrible right now we're like in Brooklyn which is my hometown um, we're in the beginning so we're in the building <laughs> my nerves my nerves are starting to take full effect I'm nervous I have butterflies in my stomach oh, I'm about to go up I'm a little late 15 minutes because of the snow and the sleet uh, waiting for my husband and we're gonna see dr. Peter Newman where is he? Right there, 201. All right. See how it sticks out right there? He needs to fix that right here. And then over here too. So we're going to try and move it. Hi guys, it's Melanie. Um, okay, so I'm very, very upset. Why? Because... Out of all the videos I did today, I had a really good video, okay? Um, I'm going to put them into like little clips and stuff like that, but the main video that I wanted to show, which was me in the doctor's office, and he was explaining everything, the procedure and everything that he was going to do, and it was about maybe a good six-minute video, and he was showing everything that he was going to do. Well, guess what? I went from, because uh, I recorded it on my iPhone, of course, but... Uh, I did cut and paste and pasted it into my computer and then for some reason it got corrupted when I pasted it into my computer that one freaking file so I'm totally upset that I can't show you but everything went well uh, to go into details uh, I did partially pass out um, it wasn't exactly how I had explained well um, I really didn't know exactly what he was doing. First of all, it wasn't smart lipo at all. Um, basically, what he had told me was that we were not ready to do that. You understand? Because it's I, I, he said that I went through a lot already, um, that I still needed my body to heal, um, and that it's only been nine months. Um, something like that he would have to actually do in the operating room and that would be more of a major procedure he also uh, said that uh, in order for me to like get that effect that I want like that hourglass curve because I I was like you know I was a, I wasn't complaining but I did tell him that I wasn't uh, really happy that when I sat down I still had those love handles and you know you could still see those love handles and then he said uh, that in order to actually physically go ahead and do something like that it would kind of be like a, a lower body lift so the scars that I have now only are to like I guess my hip area but in order to do something like that he said it, the, that uh, he would have to extend it in order for, for, for him to, to I get, guess get my sides the way that I want to um, and, and that the uh, lining would go all the way up to like the middle of my butt area and stuff like that. Um, so what we did today was we did uh, get rid of the dog ears and maybe, yeah, you'll get to see the clip before this one of exactly what I was talking about. It was kind of like a, a punctured skin area where it, like there was a particular skin that was like really, really sticking out. And then on the other left-hand side, um, there was... Uh, 
how do you say, the incision wasn't uh, fully, I guess, balance or lines up correctly uh, so uh, my incision like went from like here and then it went a little bit more down so what he did was he opened up that area as well and the line I guess he made it perfect this time so that way uh, I don't have any problems I guess wearing like a bikini or anything and you can't see it um, so he took care of like uh, the putchered area on the right side and then I guess the lining on the left hand side um, so yeah, that's basically it. We didn't do any smart light bow. I still have those little love handles. Um, not sure exactly if I'm gonna do anything in the near future with that. Um, I really don't want to. I don't really want to go into major surgery like that again. Um, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, back to the passing out because can I tell you, I'm a little chicken shit. Yes, me, the person who's had. A lot of surgeries. <laughs> um, okay, so what what happened was that we went into the operating room. I was fine. He did the right hand side. Everything was fine. That took about maybe 20 minutes to do. He numbed me with Novocaine a whole bunch of times. About maybe I would say 10 times, 10, 15 times. And then once he got to the left hand side, he started working on that. Um, however, um, this was done with basically a scalpel and some good old-fashioned stitches <laughs> so basically what was done was scalpel and stitches uh, totally what I didn't think was gonna happen today so as soon as he pulled out that chunk of meat and it looked at like a really big grease ball and it did see my skin and he put it right on top of his tray that was all I needed to see okay <laughs> so uh, I partially passed out meaning that uh, I started seeing black like black little dots. Um, the the nurse knew right away because I started breathing heavily, um, and um, my hands they started feeling very very heavy. And these two hands they started feeling like very very numb. Um, so she was able to actually. I just kept hearing her saying when my vision was just like going black. It was like going in and out, you know, and my eyes were closing and closing and closing, and, you know, while the doctor was still working on, on me, of course, um, but all I kept her hearing is, uh, don't close your eyes, don't close your eyes, don't close your eyes, and I guess from the wet towels that she was putting on me, she put some on my forehead, on my neck, on, like, on my wrist area right here, she was just basically soaking me <laughs> with water, by the time I got out of there, I had, like, makeup dripping and my hair was wet. Um, but she was, and then they actually, because on the position that I was in, I was like halfway laying down. I was still sitting up while they were working on me, but I was still, um, you know, halfway, uh, you know, sat up. So they laid me all the way back down, you know, in order for me to like, um, I guess not pass out. And then they just like started dripping me like with, uh, wet towels. So I was able to actually come out of it and I didn't pass out. But that was the whole effect. Um, I mean, that was the whole thing that went on. I'm just going to show you real quick what they did to me. I'm still a little sore. It wasn't as bad as I thought. Um, I still can't feel it. Here we go. Let me see, because the lighting is like so bad here. Let's see if you can see that. Can you? Yeah, and. You know, they also had to change my underwear as well because there was blood all over it too. So they gave me, I guess, uh, their underwear. I don't know if you could see it because of the lighting. Uh, I don't think you can. And here's the other one. Let me see if I turn off the light. Hold on. One second. Okay, this is better, right? Here we go. All right, that's one side, okay, and then that's the other side. So that's it, guys. I just basically uh, got rid of, I guess, like the little putchered areas that were here. And he said that the tummy area is looking great. Ooh, that still hurts, but I'm okay. Nothing really out of ordinary going on and it's nothing bad but that's basically it um, that's my update and I hope to see you guys really soon take care